My name is Adam Salazzo from Tampa, Florida. I went to college at East Tennessee State University, home of the Bucks. Went there for four years, played in uh, two March Madnesses against uh, the boys at Kentucky, you know, John Wall, Eric Bledsoe, DeMarcus Cousins, Patrick Patterson. Then from there, I had two NBA workouts after college, one with the New York Knicks, one with the Atlanta Hawks. And basically what they told me was perfect your game. At the time, you know, you're young, you think, what are they talking about? I'm ready. I'm ready at this moment. But they said, take it overseas, perfect your game, and then, you know, we'll get back in touch. I've been overseas now for a while. At first, I didn't really understand what they meant. But within the first week of being overseas, I already learned so much. I mean, there's guys there who have been playing basketball their whole life in their 30s, some even in their young 40s, and they're teaching you. And it's, it's a learning process. I started off my first year in Romania. That was a little bit of a culture shock, going from Tampa, United States, to Romania, stepping off the plane. It was an experience, but I'm very blessed to have had that opportunity. We played in the Euro League, so I got great exposure. Was there for half a season. Came home to play in the D League. They ended up going to Germany. Played in Germany. Had a great season. Ended up being the top scorer in the league. Showed everyone my talent. But it was a little too cold in Germany being a Florida boy. So I ended up the next year going to Italy, which Italy was the dream of mine. I'm Italian. My grandparents were born in Italy, so it's always been a dream of me to go there and play kind of in, in the homeland. So I went there for a year. Had another great season, was one of the top three scorers in the league. Played against some big time guys who are now playing Euro League and even in the NBA. And ever since then, I've kind of I've built a name in Italy. Everyone knows who I am, knows what I do, knows what I'm capable of. So now I've been there for four years. Bounced all around, been in North Italy, South Italy, near Rome, near Milan, near Florence. So it's been a beautiful experience because I've gotten to see the world. I've gotten to live my dream. As a kid, I always told myself, you know, I want to be a professional basketball player one day, and I did it, and I'm still doing it. Every day I'm working hard, but trying to get to my next dream, which is to get into the NBA. This year I had a great season, helped my team make it to the playoffs. While I was there, I had my fiance with me. We got to see the world. I mean, people pay money to go to Italy on vacation. People go there on their honeymoon. I just got to go there for a job. I got to go live there. I got to play on a Sunday, score 20 points. Next day, go to Rome and see the Colosseum. I got to go one day, play on a Sunday, score 25 points. Next day, go see the Duomo in Florence. In Europe, it's different. It's, it's a lot slower pace of life, but it really teaches you to appreciate life. My fiance has came with me two years and we've learned to Man, it's really nice to have lunch together every day. You know, that's something here we don't do. A lot of Americans work through their lunch hour. They, they'd rather be at the desk, boom, 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 trying to show their boss they're at the next level. In Italy, it's mandatory. Everything closes. Everyone goes home and spends time with their family, sits down for lunch. The mom's cooking for the kids. Kids come home from school. So that's what I really learned is just to appreciate life. And you know, sometimes it's okay to be at a slower pace and just look back and enjoy things a little bit more. So it's been a beautiful experience, man, but it's something that you have to put the work into to get there. It's not as easy as a lot of these people think nowadays. A lot of kids are always asking, how easy is it to get there? Man, you gotta grind 24 seven. I remember in high school, I was the guy who, I'd get out of class, I was in the parking lot, I knew there was gonna be traffic, so I'd put the speed ladder down and I was doing, I was doing uh, footwork drills. I was the guy who was staying in the gym, first one in, last one out. That's the work it takes but it's worth it when you get done. It really is. So we have Camp Salazzo, and what it is is every summer I come home and I do private lessons, I do training, I do camps, and I do skills clinics. And basically what it is is I'm trying to give those kids when the guys in the NBA told me you needed a little bit more knowledge, you needed to perfect your craft. I had to go overseas and learn it, and I'm still learning. What I'm trying to do now is instill it to these kids at a young age show them little tricks, little things that they can do to put themselves above the next kid because everyone wants to shoot three-pointers now. Everyone's fast, everyone can dunk. But if you know how to play a pick and roll properly, you don't even have to dunk and you can score 20 points a game. I just want to show these kids that 
it is possible to make it to the next level. You got to put in the work and you got to have the knowledge. A lot of people say, you know, I have Camp Salazzo and uh, they say I should be a coach afterwards or I should train. And I don't know, I think it's going to be hard for me to step away from the game I love and be that close to it without playing it. Because I think when I see it, I'm a perfectionist. I see it, I want to be with it, I want to, then I want to go on the court and, and keep at my craft. So I think when I'm done with basketball, I think I want to step away. I mean, I got a business degree in business marketing. I was scholar athlete of the year in college out of the whole entire NCAA. So I think that I could put those four years of school to the test and uh, fall back into my uh, business program and, and maybe get into the business world and see what that's like. I'd like to stay around sports, but probably not basketball just because I can't be that close and not want to be on the court. Thank you to the city of Tampa. I'm a product of the environment. You know, you guys made me. I was on the courts from a young age playing with the older kids. So thank you, Tampa, for making me the man I am today. To the youth, and you got to grind. It's not easy. Just because you went on the court, did a couple crossovers, posted it on Instagram, that don't mean you put in the work. Okay. When the cameras are off, that's when you become a star. You know, that's when you put in the hour and a half on the court, the thousand jump shots, you know, working in the parking lot on your game, not even at a basketball court, just outside in your backyard, dribbling on the grass, just grinding. That's what it takes. But don't let anyone tell you you can't make it because you're going to eat that. Let it feed you, let it feed you up, and then you're just going to surpass it. If they tell you you can't, that's cool. I had a lot of people told me I wasn't going to make it. That's cool. But look, I made it and I'm not even going to stop. A lot of people tell me I'm not going to make it to the NBA. That's cool. I'm just going to let it feed up into me and I'm going to make it. Dear basketball, it's been a love-hate relationship. I hated every morning waking up at 6 a.m. I hated shoot until my hands hurt. I hated when I grew from 5'10 to 6'6 six, six and my knees hurt so bad I couldn't even walk. But I love you because you showed me the world, brought me to Tennessee, brought me to Italy, brought me to Germany, brought me to Argentina. You showed me so much, but I hope it's not over. I hope our affair goes on for many more years and you know we fall in love even more and more and more.